Hello, we would like to introduce a new functionality in CAD system that allows you to automatically attach hardware elements and thus significantly speed up your routine work. Before we start creating them, let us take a look at the principles and algorithms that will be used to arrange the hardware in the furniture assembly. The creation and insertion of these components is based on the software analyzing the connection area of the panels and other parameters and based on the results obtained placing the hardware components. For a more detailed explanation of the hardware placement algorithm, I will choose a simple hardware component, the Rafix 20 connector. This connector has two components, a connecting bolt, which is screwed into the supporting nestling panel, and the connector housing, which is attached to the perpendicular pillar panel. In assembly, I will put these two components together in a single assembly and treat it as a single group object. I will place the prepared Rafix 20 smart hardware component in the assembly using the hardware attachment command. The two panels to be connected and the direction of unscrewing are selected. As this is relevant for the Rafix 20 component, I will now explain in more detail what a contact surface is and what the possible scenarios are. In this case, we have two panels joined by an edge side type. That is, the back edge of one panel is in contact with the side of the other panel. In this case, the two panels have a contact area which is rectangular. Accordingly, we can match the long side and the short side of the rectangle with the X and Y axes of the coordinate system. If we consider that the Z axis is always pointing away from the perpendicular pillar panel, then Regardless of the area of the contact surface, we always have the same position in the coordinate system. Panels may not only be connected by the edge side type, but also by the edge edge type, where two panels are in contact with their end surfaces. This results in a joint, but the mathematics remains the same. The surfaces are in contact, and there is a contact area which we can also match with the coordinate system and assume that the z-axis is pointing away from the contact surface. It should be noted that the smart hardware attachment system is designed to calculate certain parameters. That is, the user can get the values from the system and combine them, mapping, with the model parameters. For example, if the user needs the nestled board thickness and the pillar board thickness, the user can retrieve these values from the system and use them in his or her own calculations. The system can calculate not only linear lengths, such as panel thickness or contact surface width or height, but also the angles between the two panels to be connected, connection angle, and between the connection plane and the nestled plane, contact angle. We will now look more closely at the connection area. For the sake of simplicity, I have left only the view of the connection area. As mentioned earlier, the long side of the connection area is matched with the x-axis. Let us call it contact patch length. The short side is matched with the y-axis and called contact patch width. Accordingly, the origin of the coordinate system is always at the center of the hypotenuse of the rectangle, from which the vector of the z-axis points away. This connection area algorithm will be our starting point when developing smart hardware components. There may be situations where panels are not connected, but hardware components are added to the plane. Typical examples of this would be various legs, supports, or handles. In this case, we do not have two panels to be joined with a connection area to consider. In such cases, the entire plane in contact with the hardware components is said to be the contact plane. It is then easy to calculate where to place the support or door handle. In this case, the center of the coordinate system 
is located at the center of the geometry of the whole panel, and one of the selected edges is used to define the direction of rotation. For example, a handle is attached to open a drawer. The frontal plane of the drawer is the connection area, and the top edge of the front is the directional plane. Based on this logic, the handle will be positioned according to the specified criteria during the design of the hardware. This video has shown two examples of the principles of the placement algorithm, the coordinate system used, and the basic principles of operation. Since hardware components can be much more complex or much simpler, we leave the further development of hardware components to the users themselves, where they can adapt them to their own needs based on the examples we have created. In the following videos, we will look at the creation of a specific hardware element in a CAD environment, using the tools and options available in the CAD system. Good luck!